In this session, we are going to look at the equipment and tools that we need in a fish farm. You may be able to buy your own tools and equipment yourself, or you may hire, as the case may be. We have equipment like the pH meter, water pump, aerator, nets, we have hand nets, we have the drag net, we have the search disk, we have pond digger, we also have generator sieves that you use in blocking the inverted uh, l chip pipe. And we have reagents, uh, we need calculator, pen, notebook, we also need a measuring balance. The pH meter actually is used to test the pH. That is the alkalinity or the acidity of the water. Water for pH meter reading. What we have here is the pen type pH meter. It's digital. It measures the pH of the water and also the temperature of the water and once you put it on you have the temperature down you have the ph up but this one is not calibrated yet we have to calibrate the ph meter using two different reagents one is for the acidness of the water this reagent this one reddish is acidness it is uh, for ph uh, 4.003 you need to calibrate when you have this reagent down to a, a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. There's a particular portion here that you use the screwdriver to calibrate it. Once the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, you have to calibrate to 4.003. You calibrate it to that point, then you remove this reagent. But before you do, before we calibrate it, we would use distilled water to clean the probe that is present here and the reagent volume should not pass this part that is indicated here this part that is indicated it should not pass it it should be just at that particular point if it is too much it will not it will affect the uh, pH meter. We have the water pump. Water pump you use any time that the water quality is bad, you need to bring down the water. You use the water pump to pump out the water. And also when you are uh, sorting your fish, you use the water pump to pump out the water totally and you get the fish and sort them then you weigh them with the weighing balance where before you now know the biomass of the fish that is present in a particular pond then we have the aerator this aerator pump uh, it has 12 outlets what we do is you fix this pipe to this then this one is now fixed to this point why we use this in most cases once you are having new stock of fish that uh, you don't know the quality of the fish maybe they may be diseased and you want to quarantine the the fish what you do is you connect rubber hose this to 
each of the points here then we have the erector stones you can take any length depending on the uh, volume of water you can cut the length here then you insert this uh, erector stone you put this erector stone into this uh, hose this is the car aerator it is good for the transportation of fingerlings post fingerlings uh, adult fish once you are transporting fish for a very long distance you use this one to put in air in the container to make it a little bit stress free for the fish we have the uh, sachi disc the sachi disc is this particular uh, metal is this metal uh, it has a rope tied to it and it is used in measuring the transparency or, or turbidity of the water usually we tie a line to this and add a meter rule like this it will start from the bottom once it starts from the bottom now let us it is this form at 24 inches if the it is transparent if this disc is transparent in the water that shows that the water quality is okay if it goes down and is still transparent as it is going down and it is still transparent it means the water quality is no good and it needs to be fertilized and limed then if you if you see that the water is dark maybe lower than 24 inches that means the water quality is not also good the more it is lower than 24 inches the more the water quality is bad because we need some amount of transparency for phytoplankton to develop in a pond that means if it is lower it means it is more turbid so uh, well, water has to be exchanged in the pond we have nets we have the drag nets we have the hand nets the drag net is used for uh, post fingerlings that are in the pond and we use them also for uh, juveniles, we use them for sub-adults and also adult fishes. Then we have hand nets. The hand nets, we have uh, hand nets for fry, hand nets for fingerlings hand net for post finger nets. This drug is a broad spectrum drug. It is used in treating fungal infections, viral infections, and bacterial infection. That is the reason it is broad spectrum. If you are treating in water, one cubic meter of water that's 1000 uh, liters you need to use this the whole sachet to treat in water the indication here is for this packet we have uh, 100 
grams of the drug here and you use it for 100 kilograms of feed if you are inoculating into the feed you have to treat for from three days to five days but it is better to treat for a longer period so that you will not have the uh, bacteria or fungi that would become resistant to this particular drug then we now have this this one is actually uh, multivitamin for fish and other livestock it is in the liquid form and for this one if your fish is stressed you can use this one to treat even in the water you can add it to the water 20 mils of it in one cubic meter of water you can use this so it is actually an anti-stress once ponds are vested the fish are cropped maybe during sorting or during sampling they do something like that the inoculated feed you use to feed the fish when you start feeding so that they will be stress free or once you have treated your fish you still add this anti-stress to the feed and give to them then we have uh, reagents uh, that are very necessary in the pond we have uh, reagents like uh, ammonia test kit we have the, the nitrite test kit and uh, nitrate test kit they almost all work the same way because they have three reagents in them this is ammonia test kit you see that we have uh, three different reagents in them and these ones you have a pupet and a test tube there is a marked point in this test tube that you put in the sample of water that you are expected to test that sample of water once you get it to that point you start with reagent one reagent one you put five drops of that uh, reagent then uh, into the test tube then you you uh, go to reagent two you put five drops into it then you go to reagent three and put five drops of the reagent into the test tube then you allow it to stay for some time say about uh, 10 to 15 minutes you see the color then behind here you have a color chart from the color shaft you now know the amount of milligrams of ammonium in the water you will now look at it and you see that it it tallies with a particular color so once you test it and it falls within the rank you will now see the the area that is yellow is manageable but the area that is uh, orange colored is not good for the fish.